Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you the card that I created for Craft Roulette episode 147. And the parameters for that episode was the project had to be bookmark, colors, gray, background, plus three, element, bunny or bunnies and random swag. So I had to really put my thinking cap on for this one because I had a vision in my mind because I had seen a saying on Facebook on a t-shirt that I fell in love with. And so I decided that because we had to use bunnies, which this is part of the new mini catalog that Stampin' Up! released in on January 5th and you can bundle it with this punch which is so cute I decided I wanted to use this but here's the thing that I have is sometimes it's good to just get back to the whole reason for the season for example Christmas the whole reason is not about Santa Claus it's about um, Jesus' birth. The same with Easter. So you always come into these dilemmas where there's such cute things with bunnies and eggs and all the good stuff, but in reality, Easter is about Jesus. So the saying that I saw on a t-shirt was, silly rabbit, Easter is for Jesus. So I wanted to incorporate that somehow. So I thought, well, <clears throat> I'm going to have to put in my card something about Jesus, so I found this um, retired stamp set called Easter Message and just love that cross with the robe draping over it. So I, th I thought, okay, this is going to be perfect, right? Because now I have my swag because this to me is swag. It's like it's draped over the cross. So there's my random. We've got the bunnies and we've got the cross here with the swag. And then for the gray background, well, since it was going to be an Easter card, I love this paper because it's got, it's, it's a gray background, but it's got like florals on it, but faintly, and I just fell in love with it. So this is available in the current catalog and it's called Abigail Rose. So I wanted to use that and then I had to pick some three other colors and so I decided to go with purple, green, and yellow for my other three colors. So I found this paper, it's called Dainty Flowers and you can only earn this because um, it's part of celebration so you have to place an order in order to earn this. And I think it has to be a $50 order. But I went ahead and found some colors that just had, I mean, you know, strip of this, that just had the three colors that I wanted, the green and the purple and the yellow. So I decided to go with this as well. And then, of course, we had the bookmark issue. So I had, um, and I'll show you how I use this by the dock when I, show you my card but I have a whole bunch of these our daily bread stamps in my stash and I love them because they're all you know verses out of the Bible and stuff so I decided to use this one because if this was going to be about Jesus I wanted the bookmark to be about Jesus so I went ahead and pulled out this this one here there was some other bookmarks in this in our daily bread stamps that I have but I really liked this one because I liked how thick it was and it was going to fit perfect on what I wanted to do for my bookmark so let's pull in the card and check it out so here it is so what I did was I just stamped the cross directly on the designer paper and colored it with my Stampin' Blends but since it was just kind of hanging out there in the air, in the air I felt like that's when I pulled in the 
um, by the dock so that I could use this underneath the cross so that it looked like it was on the ground. So I love that. So in order to get that saying though, I had to create it. So I had to design that and then I had to print it on cardstock. And I loved that uh, I was able to make the Easter kind of like a block style so that I could color it in as well. I don't see how pretty that is. And then this little bunny is so stinking cute. And so I put that paper at the bottom and then I stamped the bunny and colored him in with the neutral colors of crumb cake. So what I did was I colored him in where I wanted with the dark crumb cake. Then I went in with my, um, you know, this alcohol marker color lifter and kind of just took off some of the color. Then I went back in with the light crumb cake because I like the look, how it gives it kind of like that furry look when I did that. And then I, th that stamp set had this, so there was more to it, but I just fussy cut out what I didn't need and colored my flowers so that this rabbit could be wearing that around his neck and use the colors that I chose. And then here's the bookmark element. So then when you open it up, it says Happy Easter. Here's the bookmark element. So I had to perforate this and I didn't wanna fold it before the video cause I wanted to show you. So when it's perforated and you fold it over like that, then you can go ahead and mail it and it looks just like a regular A2 card. But then when the recipient gets it and they open it up, then all they need to do is tear that off because it's perforated and they have themselves a bookmark. So that's where I put my scripture verse and another little piece of that paper on there. So I think that would be a very nice bookmark and a little gift for them. So I think I met all the parameters. We got the bookmark, we got the gray background, plus the three colors that I'm using. I'm also using the crumb cake to color the bunny, but that's a neutral color. And then we've got the, um, the bunny, of course. And then the swag is right there on the cross. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed my creation for this week. I had a lot of fun with it. Took a little more time because I had to create this and then print it off so that I would have that but it was fun and now I have it so I can use it on other cards. Alrighty, well, in, hope you enjoyed that and until my next video, I hope you all have some fun doing some crafting and remember, choose joy and may God bless you. Talk to you all in the next video. Bye-bye everyone.